I'm Dr. Tarjini Dave. I work at uh, the Eye Plastic Surgery Services at LV Prasad Eye Institute, Hyderabad. Uh, I want to talk to you about um, the first inflatable orbital tissue expander that we have done in India. This is a surgery that is done for children who are born without an eyeball. This condition is known in our medical literature as anophthalmos. An ophthalmos meaning absence of an eyeball. When a child is born without an eyeball, there is no scope of giving back vision to that child. However, there is a lot of scope of returning the cosmesis to that baby. Till date, there were no known treatment modalities to actually make the child look just as normal as other kids. The absence of the eyeball not only decreases the space available there for an artificial eye but also reduces the growth of the entire half side of the face. A normal eyeball is stimul a stimulus for the bones around the eye as well as that entire face to grow and this absence will lead to a contracture on one half side of the face. To prevent this we have put this first inflatable orbital tissue expander in our baby who is a year old. She presented to us uh, on 15th of June and that is when the surgery was done after counselling the parents extensively. The purpose of the surgery is to provide an artificial balloon expander on that side where the eyeball is missing and this balloon expander acts as a stimulus for the bones around the eye to grow. What we typically do is by giving a small cut at the outer part of the eye, we put this implant inside through surgery and after that every four to six months we call the baby back to inflate that balloon little by little every four to six months. Usually it is done for smaller children. If the It's best done for smaller children, those who are in the one to five year old age. The smaller the child, the better. It's just like your height. You know, you if, if there is a... 15 year old person or if there is a 20 year old person who comes and says I want to increase my height can you do that you can't do that but if a child comes to you and you want to really increase the child's height there are several ways of doing that because they are in that growth phase the growth phase stops after five years of life so it's before that that we actually need to intervene and that is the challenge because parents are usually scared of having small babies go through surgery but nowadays with the advances that we have in anesthesia, it's very easy and it's very comfortable and it is very safe for the babies. Usually we call these babies back for follow-up about twice a year and they would be with us for follow-up for five years.